Right, the concept of promises is not one of the easiest ones to understand, especially if you're uh, new to asynchronous programming. It's not one of the easiest concepts to teach as well. Uh, I'm going to try my best, and I hope you are too. Uh, the idea of promises comes from having to deal with asynchronous programming, but without needing the whole callback functionality. We have uh, looked at callbacks in the previous tutorial, and we've understood how you can send a function to another function and have that executed when it's done. And callbacks can be ugly, as we've seen. The more nested they are, the more difficult it gets to read the code or even modify it. So promises is actually a, an attempt to solve that problem using a different pattern. We are still going to be doing the same thing. The idea behind having a long-running function accept another function as an argument to run when the long running thing is done. That idea is still the same with promises, but just the way in which the function is passed is a little bit different. Hopefully this will make sense once you're done uh, watching these videos. So what is a promise? Here's a definition from uh, the, the Mozilla Developer Network. A promise represents an operation that hasn't completed yet, but is expected to in the future. Now, since this is a new concept, I'm going to give you a couple of analogies to explain what this is. They're kind of real world analogies and hopefully you get the idea when I'm done. So the first analogy that I'm going to give you is something that's commonly used in a lot of blog posts and tutorials online. This is an analogy of uh, a bank teller or a restaurant where you have the token system. You go to a restaurant, which is super crowded, right? And you are waiting for a place, you're waiting for your table. So when you go to the, the front reception, the front reception gives you a token or a buzzer and you have your place in the queue, right? So you hold on to that token and you wait for your turn. And when the table opens up and it's your turn, the restaurant staff calls out the token number or presses the buzzer and your buzzer rings and you know you are, uh, your turn has come, right? So what the restaurant staff has given you is a promise. Right? It's a promise object. It's something that represents that there is something that you have to wait for. Right, so you're not you're not just there standing in the queue and waiting for your table. Right, so you're given a token that you put in your pocket and go on do your thing. And when it's your turn, the token is going to let you know, and then you have your place on the table. Right, this is a rough analogy of what a promise is, but it's not exactly accurate. I have an alternative analogy, which I think is more representative of this promise uh, approach that I'm gonna outline now and hopefully that'll, that'll help. So think of, you know, you're uh, working with your teammate. So you've given your teammate, you say, hey, can you do this thing for me? And they say, okay, I got it, I'll do it, but it's gonna take me an hour to do, okay? So it's a long running operation. <laughs> you're given your teammate a long running operation, right? It's gonna take a while to complete it. Now. While he or she is working on that thing, you also have this other thing to do, right? So you're saying, okay, after you're done, I need you to do this bunch of other stuff. But the teammate says, no, hang on, I'm single-threaded. I can only do this one thing. Uh, you know, you have to wait to give me the next set of instructions. Now you have somewhere else to go. You can't wait for your teammate to finish the job and give the next set of instructions. So what your teammate does is, your teammate gives you a piece of paper and say, okay, here's, my, here's a promise object. If you tell me what I need to do after this job, just write it to me on the piece of paper and give it to me. I'll finish this long running process and then I'm gonna look at your piece of paper and whatever you've written there, I'm gonna do it, right? So your teammate is really cooperative that way. So what you, when you give your teammate a long running task, your teammate is gonna give you a piece of paper and say, hey, fill in all the other stuff that I need to do after this long running task. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that piece of paper, write all the stuff that you need your teammate to do after, and then you hand that paper back to your teammate. And he or she is going to hold on to it and say, okay, I got it. I'm going to finish this long running, long running task and then I'm going to approach the other stuff. All right. This, I think, is a really good analogy of a promise. And the piece of paper that your teammate is handing to you and you are filling it up with the next set of things to do, that piece of paper represents the promise. All right. So it's basically denotes the promise that your teammate is making to you that he or she is going to do the things that you've written in that promise piece of paper after the long running job. If this is still a little bit hazy, just hold on to those thoughts for a bit. I'm sure it'll make more sense when we go into the details. But have this analogy at the back of your mind when you're looking at these uh, videos.